Hello Wet Shavers! Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If you are new to the project and you are enjoying the content, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. And for today's shave of the week, we're going to use Murphy and McNeil Granuale. And this is a homage of sorts to the pirate Grace O'Malley. And I'm quite certain I paid $24 for 4 ounces of Kodiak Bay Soap. Let's talk about the ingredients in here. What are some high quality ingredients we have? Duck fat, beef tallow, bear tallow, cocum butter, goat milk, shea butter, lanolin, and jojoba oil. Let's open it up and smell it. This one, we'll talk about the scent character a little bit more during the video, but to sum it up, this is a gunpowder and leather scented soap. So we have the matching aftershave balm and this actually leaked a little bit in uh in the mail so that's why the label is a little bit uh kind of faded away i uh, was so excited for this that i uh, forgot to do an unboxing video so you'll have to forgive me for that but the razor we're going to use is going to be this early 1940s gillette tech and this has the triangular lather slots, so that means it's probably 1939 to 1946-ish. We're going to try putting a treat platinum in it, see how that razor behaves with a treat platinum blade. And the brush is going to be this 24 millimeter crushed silver synthetic from Shave Mac. So let's get all this stuff together and let's do a shave. Okay, here we have the Kodiak Bay soap in the bottom of the Langley City Shave Bowl. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's quite similar to the gold color in the bowl. But here is the soap. And this is what the pour looks like minus the cutout from the cosmetic spoon. So we have the brush and we have the spray bottle. And I put less soap in here than I normally do. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to put well, let's do eight. And let's see how that how that goes. We'll probably need more. Kodiak tends to be pretty thirsty. Actually, looking at it, <laughs> it might not need a little bit more water. Well, maybe. Let's put four more sprays. Let's see what that does for us. It's coming together fairly fast, and the scent is just exploding. I can smell it. 12 inches away from my face to the bowl. So it's got good scent projection coming from the uh, granule. Okay, um, oh, what the heck, a little bit more. My gut is telling me to stop right there, but let's add a little bit more and see what it does. That is good enough. Plenty of high quality lather out of the Kodiak base. So let's get it up to the face and let's do a shave. Okay, we got three days growth on the face this time. And I'm gonna wet the face a little bit, just slightly. And then we're gonna put some chiseled face, pre-shaved gel on the face today. 
This is water-based gel, so it's not going to get all, uh, oh, all oily and scummy and attract hair and soap and stuff like that and make a mess. And it's really slimy and slick, to be honest with you. Okay, so the scent strength on the Murphy and McNeil Granuale is a comfortable two out of three. No problem smelling this. So let's put it on the face. This Kodiak base is probably my personal favorite. Out of all the different uh, shaving soaps and uh, different soap bases I've tried, Kodiak is probably uh, the one that performs the best per for my particular uh, shaving and lathering habits. This stuff is rich. Holy crap. Okay. All right. Got a little bit on my glasses. That's going to make my OCD go crazy. Okay. Now... I have to put a blade in the razor. Treat Platinum Blade. This is double wrapped, for those who are curious. And there goes that directly onto the floor. Okay, putting the blade in it. Gillette Tech with a Treat Platinum Blade. Let's see how it goes. Now, while we're doing this, let's talk about the scent. So, goodness, how do I want to describe this? You know what this smells like? It smells like a gunpowdery old boot, old leather boot, that's been drenched in seawater. Salty seawater. Um, I believe the notes are uh, gunpowder, white leather, whatever that means, aged oak, and salty ocean aquatic notes. Uh, so you're probably thinking, well, that sounds kind of repulsive, but I actually really like it. It's it's very well balanced. Uh, Every part of the scent has its place. Like when I put it up to my face, I get gunpowder first, and then I get leather, and then I kind of get this like sea salt sort of vibe, and then right at the end of the sniff is uh, the woody notes. And the woody notes that I get it's kind of like, um, you know what wood smells like when it's been sitting outside in a damp environment and it's been wet for a really long time? It kind of smells like that. And that's like towards the end of the, end of the sniff. This uh, razor and blade combination is doing a pretty good job of taking off three days of heavy uh, stubble. It's a bit on the mild side. I'm not sure I'd use uh, this razor and blade combination again just for that reason. One of the things that you have to grapple with when you're using a very mild razor and blade combination is you have to resist the urge to apply more pressure to your face than you should. At least that's constantly what I'm having to do is remind myself, you know, just because you're not feeling it doesn't mean it's not uh, doing its job, if that makes any sense. 
you're an experienced shaver, then you know this. But if you're somebody who's relatively not new, excuse me, then that's probably useful information. And this Kodiak base is so so freaking slick, it should be ashamed of itself. Like this is crazy slick. The Gillette Tech was the first safety razor I ever used. Um, it's either this one or another one I have that is visually identical. Like I can't distinguish the difference. So unfortunately I don't remember which one was the first one. But it was a uh, fat handle, uh, no date code, triangular leather slot tech. And I don't, I, I seem to remember the blades were Gillette Silver Blues. This was four and a half, almost five years ago. When I first started, uh, when I kicked the carts and went to a uh, safety razor. Oh, I'm dreading going under here because that always likes to draw blood, but you got to do it. Here we go. And I forgot to pass the first time, so we're going to do that area again. It's a pity that Murphy McNeil doesn't offer this base and the regular base all the time, kind of like uh, PAA has two different bases that they offer most of their soaps in. I think maybe the, uh, the Kodiak base isn't easy to make. I don't know. Oh, I better not. Not without relathering. One of my bad habits that I have is I will overuse my residual slickness to the point where it's not residually slick anymore. And um, for all practical purposes, dry shaving, which is not, not good. Oh, just touching up at this point. Um, but I think we're done. A couple more spots. Yeah, yeah, we're done. So let's have a look. Oh, I think I got away with a Nick Free shave today. So let's take an Ellen block to it and then we'll do the aftershave. Okay, here we have the Razor Rock Ellen block. So let's say what it has to say about this particular shave. Missed a spot. Okay. All right. Now, the other block. So far, so good. Huh, up here it kinda stings a little bit. That's interesting. I thought I did pretty good over there, but maybe I was applying just a hair too much pressure. Everywhere else is good to go though, so I'd say that's a fairly good Ellen Block report card here in the Soap Thing Project. And now it's time for the matching aftershave balm. So 
Let's put it on. I think I might have poured out too much. We'll see. Oh, this stuff feels great. I think I got the uh, frosted, the synthetic menthol variety of this. <laughs> yeah, I put too much on, so I'm just rubbing it in a little bit more. And the, their synthetic menthol, their frost edition, I'm pretty sure the menthol is synthetic, but it burns my face first and then it gets cold, which is, it doesn't bother me enough to quit using it. I would obviously, I would prefer if it didn't do that, but such as it is, alcohol free. Yeah, it's a, uh, faded out so I can't tell if it I'm pretty sure it's synthetic though but it's still good stuff it just kind of kind of gets a little, little hot on my face and then gets cold but no big deal so my final thoughts on where to go my final thoughts on Murphy and McNeil granuel my usual question if I exhausted this to an empty tub would I buy it again and for this one oh yeah this one is, uh, when I got this and I opened it up and I smelled it for the first time, it quickly became one of my all-time favorite leather scents. And I, I love leather scents. I have so freaking many of them. So this one is going to be a uh, definitely a heavily used soap in my particular shave den, especially on off-camera shaves. I love this stuff. And the Kodiak base is no joke. This stuff performs amazingly. So that'll be the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.